Hello and welcome to the roof of the Mercedes AMG Petronas motorhome here in the Monte Carlo paddock. Look at this beautiful backdrop and we have with us three-time world champion Lewis Hamilton. Hi. Lewis, welcome. What a stunning backdrop, huh? It's beautiful here, yeah. Wish you guys could be here with us. Some of you might be, I don't know, but um, it's beautiful. The weather's amazing, as it always is here for the Grand Prix. So, um, yeah, happy to be here. So it's cool you're taking part in this Facebook Live. Thanks for making the time. No problem. And uh, obviously we're talking about your digital life. I mean, you've been a real pioneer in the way that you use digital tools, digital technology, social media to connect to your fans, I mean, Twitter, Instagram, that kind of stuff. Why I'm, have you been the one to embrace it so much, do you think? I like that you think I'm a pioneer, but I'm not really. I'm just... You are in this I'm with space. The young, I'm with the young ones, uh, and everyone in Formula 1 is not. They're like with the old times, uh, but it's starting to change, and we are starting to do that with Tata, and, and, uh, and the Formula 1 is now uh, beginning to, to make change. As you've seen, they've started to catch on, and it is actually important. Uh, with Liberty coming in, so um, me for me, I saw it immediately, and it was an opportunity to be able to connect with people. You know, I could send the message, and it can touch, it will reach as many people as it as as possible. And um, that that connectivity, that innovation, you know, tool, innovative tool, we've got to use it, utilize it. Um, so. So I guess obviously you've been talking to the new owners about what can be done. There's so much more that can be done because you're very plugged in in the music world and other sports as well, and they're, they're some way ahead, aren't they? Yeah, particularly the, a lot of the other sports are very, very far ahead. Um, and, and to be honest, Formula One is very, very, very far behind. You know, you look at football, you've got players that have, you know, 70, 80 million uh, followers, even teams, and in Formula One, the most I think a team has is maybe 10 million, I think it is, and I think that might be us. But... Um, and, and then on the driver side, I've got you know just over four million on one of the uh, platforms, and the others uh, perhaps a little bit less, and they should have even more. So it is uh, a, digi a digital a time for digital transformation. Yeah. So um, and I think that's what really we're, we're trying to do. Um, you know the the community in Form One, but we also got to kind of crossbreed it with with fashion, with music, and with with other sports. We've got to start you know catching up. There's a cool uh, innovation as well called the F1 Connectivity Innovation Prize. We'll talk about that in a moment, which is a F1's crowdsourcing initiative, which you're yeah. one of the judges We've on. We've been doing that for a while. Yeah, it's so. four years now, right? Yeah. It's just they just launched the new one. So. Is it already four years? Yeah, it's four years. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> and there's been some pretty cool stuff coming out of that. We'll talk mm. about that in a minute. But we've got our first question here coming in from Annette Dalolio, who says, how do you manage the numerous dig digital platforms you use to stay in touch with your fans? How do you find the time to read the fans' comments? That's a question I'd love to know as well, because it must take up your whole day, right? It's, uh, it's very, very hard because uh, you know for every minute you refresh it more come in so to to you know i mean if you could see how many messages that come in it's amazing and i'm so grateful for, for every message but to see them on all forums it's impossible to to catch every single one and even when i do a live chat for example you can't reply quick enough to keep up with the amount you know by the time you give one reply another hundred messages are come in so you know geez it's it's you just try and do as much as you can and um, I love communicating with everyone. I love to be able to show people, uh, firstly, like the great part of their life and also my very normal life. You know, when I'm at home, just recently I did a, um, a, a live feed with, uh, with my dog and showed him my apartment and my Roscoe. view. And, yeah. He's and, cool. You know, because whilst we're Formula 1 drivers and we're seen on TV, I live a normal life also like everyone does. And, but I also get to do some pretty amazing things and like to share that with people because it's it's anything's possible for anyone to be able to do so well the questions are coming in thick and fast but, uh, i didn't actually answer your question how i do it i, I just try and I'm, they're all connected so with with facebook twitter uh instagram um what else is there and with the snap i mean it's a it's, a, it's like a job really to keep on top of them all because uh and i've got my close friend who's with me all the time um, who helps me you know for example I might send him some stuff he keeps me alert of things just if I'm out in practice and things come up he'll say hey check this out so then I go and have a look so I'm generally always up to date okay we've got another question coming from the skeptic that's a good name how much this is an interesting question actually how much training is required to maintain the fitness level you need for Formula One and do you use any innovations or digital tools to help you with that in the same way as you do with the car you know using data and other and other innovations to to make the car go faster does that work for the human body as well um, I don't use any digital tools. Um, I didn't know there was any digital tools that you could really use that really, really work. Fitness I apps or anything like that now? No, no. You're I'm way beyond me, that, right? It's all me, fitness is it's about, for me, I have to make it fun. So I like to do fun things. So I, I generally try to do sports. I like to try my hand at as many different sports as possible. I used to play football. I, I play basketball still. I play squash. I um, do water sports whenever I can. I swim. 
you know, um, the other day I swam in the, the 25 meter pool here and I, you know, did 2,500 meters. So I just try and do every, whatever I can. I run a lot. Um, I do, I've introduced Muay Thai into this year. So at the same time, I'm learning to, you know, you're learning how to protect yourself and protect others. And then also you're, you know, taking your body through a grueling um, workout. Um, but uh, you've got to make it fun. But also a big part of it, people think you can go and work out for 20 minutes and then that's you're going to be fit. But it's also what you eat. Mm. So just don't eat crap. You know, just <laughs> I'll remember it's that. really hard not to do it. You know, <laughs> geez, I go to the store and I see Nutella and I'm literally you, you have to pull me away. I love Nutella, but. That's not an ad. And Nutella, you can send me some stuff you want, but other spreads <laughs> are available, as they say. Yeah, exactly. Um, but you know, I see sweets and candy, and I want it all. But then I think there's a bit of chub, and yeah, I want the beach look. I want to be fit for my job. <laughs> and for your Instagram but photos, it, it is very, very, yeah, it is very, very physical in the Formula Car. Not here in Monaco, it's more mental, but yeah. uh, it is very, very physical uh, around other circuits. You, you heard in the last race, I was exhausted. Yeah, no, these cars. Let's take a stroll over here. These cars are a lot more physical to drive than. Uh, than the old ones, but uh, we were talking a second ago about the um, the F1 Connectivity Innovation Prize. Just over here, there's this guy. I want to remind you of what happened here. Oh, I remember uh, him. In the finals. Do you remember him? Yeah. So this was Austin, Texas, the, the final oh. of the F1 Connectivity Innovation Prize, which Lewis is a judge of. He, he always got, has, he had, he had such a great shirt. Yeah, but do you remember how he fell to his knees when it was announced as well? Absolutely yeah. hilarious. <laughs> so he was so passionate. But he got an ama amazing trophy. It was pretty much like a Formula 1 trophy. Well, we've got some more questions coming in now. Let me uh, thank you very much. This one's from Ryan. Uh, F1's making big changes to help us follow the sport in new and exciting ways. What are your thoughts on this? What, uh, what, what sort of game-changing innovations would you like to see that's not been done before? Well, so, far, so far I haven't seen anything new and innovative just yet. But And, and some of the stuff they're putting into play is just stuff they should have done a long, long time ago. So it's, it's, it, you know, it's not a big surprise that they're now doing, uh, allowing social media, for example. Um, but uh, I don't know. I think. Um, what about the real-time gaming thing? I mean, what you you grew up I as a gamer. I think that could be cool. Yeah, yeah. And my brother does simulations, and I love the simulation games. And simulation, the simulation world is now getting to be amazing. And I wish, when I was younger, that I could have. When Michael was racing, I wish when I was sitting on my car, I wish you know I had a computer and everything. I could have. I wish I could put the goggles on or whatever it is, yeah. and actually be in the race somehow. You know, virtually. And I think that at some stage that would be something. Um, I heard that they've done that in another series of some sort, and we should. We, we Form One needs to be ahead of the game, not behind, you know. And that's what we really get need to get ourselves. The, or Liberty need to get themselves in the position where they're ahead of, you know, another sport so that seeing what we're doing and be like, hey, we've got to do the same thing. Well, last year's uh, competition was about VR, wasn't it? And how uh, we're only probably a couple of years away from from real time gaming now using all the. GPS, but I'm just yeah. astonished at how, how big the e-gaming scene is now as well, and how yeah. connected everybody is. You know, yeah. people all over the world. It's it's astonishing. I mean, it's crazy. You know, everywhere you go, everyone has a phone. Everyone has, you know, one something's happened. Someone posts it. It comes across the world in seconds, and so we're all connected in some way, even if we don't even realize it. And and we've got to there's there's a gateway to connect us all, and we've got to make sure we get innovative and have fun with it. Yeah, and in fact, this year's competition is, is all about the internet of things and how things are all connected up. The first challenge yep. being how Mercedes can uh, can connect up all the logistics and the movements and yep. everything has to always be connected. I mean, people talk about connecting your toaster to your fridge, but for a Formula One team, it's much more serious than that. It is, and that's why we work with Tata because, you know, communications is, is everything. You know, we've got a, a, a large group. You know, there's, I don't know if people, everyone knows, but there's over 1,500 people in our team. and you know, there's uh, the stuff that's happening here. If we write a letter about what's happening and send it back, it would take days for us to get there. And then, then they have to dissect the letter. And you know, but we're able to communicate with them directly and download uh, data and send it at crazy speeds. And the guys back at the factory, back at the factory, are able to back us up without actually being here. And that's really key to us moving forwards. And um, you know, that's been a, a real game changer for us. Okay, let's take another question from the uh, from the audience. We've got about a minute left here. Karina wants to know: Is F1 becoming more attractive to a younger audience? I mean, I guess what we've been talking a lot about in the last ten minutes or so. But do you see that? Do you, do you believe you're getting more messages from younger fans? Uh, I don't know. I actually, I want to see. I think still, like, I just signed a card to a hundred-year-old lady, so I think I actually have quite a lot of <laughs> elder individuals who haven't. I don't know why they like me. That they do. Because <laughs> you win a lot. <laughs> I don't know, but um, uh, 
I think I think the older ones, you know, they would have watched Grand, you know, Grand Prix years and years ago and been, uh, you know, fans of the younger, you know, the guys back in the day, um, like James or, or Ayrton. Um, but I think I think now we, it is starting to appeal to young to a younger audience. You know, it is fun. People love cars, and these are the ultimate um, vehicles. The only problem is that it's hard for people to really understand or comprehend what we do. It's like you can go and kick a ball around, but you can't go and drive a full one car. Mm. Um, and it's expensive to go and drive a go-kart. Yeah, you know? exactly. So, um, but with this virtual world, maybe, maybe you can, that will open up a door for everyone to have a, have a go. Anything's possible. Exactly. So the F1 Connectivity Innovation Prize for 2017 is open. Please yes. get your entries in. Lewis Please is one of the judges. You gotta get involved because firstly, there's a, there's a 50,000 euros or dollars? dollars. Dollar reward or, or prize, which is pretty awesome. I might have to get involved myself. Um, and I'm telling all my family to get involved. Um, and also you get to come to a Grand Prix and spend some time with me. So get to see the team, get to experience really what it is like to be at one of these Grand Prix. I believe it's the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. So um, yeah, get involved. It doesn't really take too much. And there's so many incredible creative minds out there. So, and it may, be, it may open up doorways for you in the future. You know, who knows, you might end up working our team. Lewis, thanks so much for taking the Pleasure. time. Thank you to all of you for watching and for your questions. We'll see you next time. Thank you.